In my laboratory, we are studying about how the brain produces motor signal, which is critical for making our behavior. The basal ganglia is a large brain area known to control complex motor behavior. Abnormal regulation of this structure known to cause severe movement disorders like a Parkinson's disease. Interestingly, the basal ganglia mostly produce inhibitory output. However, it remains unknown how these signals are able to modulate complex motor behavior. Previous theories suggest that this inhibitory output the function by inhibiting target neurons, for example, just making them silent. In this study, however, we demonstrated that this inhibitory input can generate excitatory motor output in target neurons. If this is true, the role of basal ganglia in motor control should be re-evaluated. To test the role of inhibitory outputs of the basal ganglia, we modulated the basal ganglia output called the medial globus pallidus by optogenic technique using light to inhibit or activate neuronal activity. When we activated the inhibitory globus pallidus inputs by light, the activity of salamine neurons were initially inhibited as expected. At the end of inhibition, however, we found that many salamine neurons produced rebound firing. This rebound firing turns out to be critical for inducing muscular contraction and motor abnormality associated with Parkinson's disease. To prove the role of salamine rebound firing in Parkinson's disease, we used dopamine deficient mice which show Parkinson-like symptoms such as tremor, rigidity, and slow movement. Indeed, this mute mice shows enhanced rebound firing in the thalamus. When it blocked this rebound firing using optogenetics or by t type calcium channel blockers, mute mice did not show motor problems anymore. Now, previous theories had always stated that an increase in inhibition from basal ganglia that in turn decreased firing in downstream motor regions was the cause of Parkinson's disease. Our work showed that salamine rebound excitation is abnormally increased under dopamine deficient conditions. We believe that our work offers therapeutic possibility in addressing the issues faced by Parkinson's disease patients. Decreasing salamine rebound firing or modulating the inhibitory outputs from the basal ganglia may alleviate motor problems caused by the loss of dopamine neurons. Thank you very much.